to be back vlogging again today. So I have some really exciting new products to show you guys. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right in and show you. Um, I have some orders to pack today. I'll also be showing you um, some of my shipping supplies and stuff. Um, yeah, let's get started. So first things first, um, I am now offering recipe cards. These are made of 100% recycled paper and lots of space for your instructions on the back as well as all of the space on the front for your ingredients. Um, I know how much you guys have loved the baking bunnies and so I wanted to do something kind of similar but with squirrels. So yeah this is the savory card and then we have the sweet card with the baking bunnies on it. Um, yeah, so I am excited to be able to use this design again for something new. And then it's got this little guy on the back. Um, yeah, so I, I have two designs. Obviously, you don't really have to use them for like savory recipes and sweet, but I thought that would be kind of fun to differentiate them in your recipe box. So I know that recipe uh, cards are kind of like an old fashioned thing, but I was thinking recently that I really wanted some more. Um, when we moved to West Virginia, we went into storage and got a bunch of our stuff out. And um, one of the things was I had this recipe box. Now the box didn't survive because mice got into the box, but the inside of the box was okay and I was able to salvage some recipe cards that I was given um, when Alex and I got engaged and just um, has like family recipes and things on it. I know that um, my family has a recipe for cookies that's from the 1700s, 1775 or something like that. Um, of course the card has probably been replaced a number of times but I think the card we have is from like the 50s. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I just was kind of inspired for that reason, but also because when I am cooking something that I found on Pinterest, it usually links to a blog and there's usually so much material to get through before you get to the actual recipe. And sometimes if your phone goes to sleep while you're doing that, you've got to keep scrolling. I know you can screenshot it and stuff, but I just like the idea of having my recipes all in one little like physical place and I can get them out and go through them and think about what I want to make. So anyway, I don't know if any of you feel that way. I have already had a number of people um, order these, especially my patrons. I kind of gave them a heads up about these. So anyway, yeah, but let me show you the other new things. So aside from these recipe cards, um, I have some new stationery. Now stationery, um, as far as like what I made for Christmas and just regular cards have been super popular the past few months. So I brought Charles in as a 
greeting card. It's just blank inside, so you guys can use this as stationery, however you want. Um, and it's coming with the green envelopes. And I'm also offering Wesley along with the green envelopes. And Salty Pete. I think that in this time of like still being kind of separated from family and friends, it's fun to be able to send something physical, um, you know, just to change things up. It's a little different than a text. So yeah, and these, along with the envelopes, are also 100% recycled, which is really exciting. Um, I'll talk more about that later. Let's see. Um, and some of you guys have already purchased these. This um, illustration has been really popular in my shop as a print and I also thought that it would just be a great card for like a get well card or just like a reminder for a friend who's having a tough time just to encourage them. So um, yeah, so I've had it printed as a card. Well, I've printed it myself as a card. Um, and these cute little, they're called coral on the website. I think they're more of like a, a papaya color or something. But anyway, they're really cute and cheerful. So those are also in my shop. And all of these cards, you can get them as a set of 10 or um, individually. So um, something that I talked about a little bit in my uh, like New Year's goals video was wanting to be able to offer more products that are made of um, sustainable and renewable natural things. So like I said, these um, papers for the cards are 100% recycled as well as the recipe cards. Um, and let me show you guys, um, in case any of you are interested in offering your own greeting cards, let me show you what paper I'm using for that. Also, do you like my new plant baby? I've never had a fiddle leaf fig before and I'm super excited about it. Um, hopefully, I can keep it alive. I think I'm, I'm pretty good with plants, so you know, we'll see. But anyway, um, let me show you guys the paper I'm using for the cards. Now, this is from Paper Source. They used to offer, and I don't know if it will come back in stock or what, but they used to offer already made cards out of this paper. And they've been out of the stock since like the beginning of December. So I stocked up on just like the sheet paper of this. Um, it's recycled like I said unfortunately it comes in plastic and I don't think there's a way around that because um, it's just how they offer it but it's paper source um, and if you just go to their search bar on their shop and you type in eco white it'll come up with all of the just having my voice like, guys this is just proof I'm like by myself and I barely talk except for to my husband <laughs> um if you type in Eco White into their search bar, it'll come up with all of the products they offer in this um, in this paper. So they do have some note cards right now, and they have cute ones that are like scalloped on the edges um, that are like pre-cut in there in this paper. But um, just a note about that is that a note card is when it's just the flat piece; it's not a folded card. So you know, if you're going to buy that, just know that that's what that is because it's, I don't think it's very obvious initially. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm using for this. And I've started doing, um, prints myself here at home. Um, again, for a while I was using Printful and I do still use them occasionally if I'm a little backed up or if I'm out of paper or something and I want someone's, you know, thing to be fulfilled faster I still use them um but I was using Epson uh fine art paper for a while but something I didn't like about it was that it's not recyclable and while people aren't probably going to be recycling their art prints um when I cut it down and I have scraps I couldn't recycle any of that and that's because it has some kind of plastic involved in the fibers. I don't really know why or how. It, I mean, I'm sure there's a reason for it, but anyway, um, this is more expensive, but I think it's worth it because I can recycle it. 
um, or at least it biodegrades. Um, this is premium fine art Canon paper. Now I do have a Canon um, printer. It's not super fancy. It was like a $75 printer from Target and I got it when my big Epson fancy printer died and I needed something to like be printing shipping labels and stuff and then I'm like you know what I'm just gonna test this. It still has pigment inks so like they're archival and it like works great on this paper. My prints look amazing. Well in my opinion. So yeah so it's cotton and it just has a nice nice texture and like I said it is a little bit more expensive but I think it's I think it's worth it for me for having you know being able to recycle it and stuff so um yeah what else is new I'm working to offer just more and more um eco-friendly items in my shop um I did remove the polyester blankets and sweatshirts and stuff at least for now even though the sweatshirts were like the best I could offer um, in terms of eco-friendliness I'm just trying to focus more on these super eco-friendly things that are like recycled and you guys really seem to like stationery I don't know why for a long time I was like reluctant to offer it I think it's because when I very very first got my printer in like 2015 I <laughs> I bought some like folded cards and I tried to start printing things and I just don't think I understood my printer well enough or I didn't have the patience and I couldn't get them to like line up properly. It was kind of ridiculous and ever after that I was like I'm not offering cards. But anyway I feel fine about it now and you guys really seem to be excited about them so that's really cool. Um, let me show you what I'm packaging these things in. For the outside packaging, you guys know I've been using Eco Enclosed stuff for years. Um, they're just great. Uh, yeah, I don't really have any complaints about Eco Enclosed. So I use those for the outside. I actually waiting to get like my five by seven ones in from them, the rigid envelopes. But um, so this is something new that I've just started using, and it is these glassine bags. And they are not made of recycled material, but they are recyclable. So here's kind of like the pros and cons is that with, you can get recycled plastic sleeves. Um, and those are really good for like apparel and stuff. They're a little bit more like stretchy, um, but they don't come from eco and clothes. At least they don't come in a size that I need for my prints. Um, so those are recycled and you can recycle them with like plastic grocery bags, which um, usually there's like a drop off at your grocery store or I think like every Target has one, but I know that's not necessarily accessible for everyone. Um, and then there's the option of the bioplastic sleeves, which I still have a few of for larger prints and I was using those um, for years and those are made of plants, but they're not recyclable, they're compostable. And that sounds great, but I found out that if they're not actually put in a compost pile, if they're just included with your regular trash, they just behave like plastic and they don't actually break down. So the idea of being like, oh, plastic made of plants, it sounded so great like at first, and so that's why I started using those. But then it's like, well, how is that really so much different than just like a paper that can actually be recycled. So glassine can be recycled. It is different than wax paper. Wax paper cannot be recycled. So make sure if you're getting this, it's glassine and not wax paper. Um, Eco Enclosed offers some, but I don't think that they had the size I needed. Um, I got some from B&H, B&H Photo. Um, but B&H is pretty good for some supplies and you can get these there. So these are five by seven and I'm using these for five by seven prints as well now as um, as sets of cards. Um, I did get these um, originally for my stationary sets and they work, but it is really a struggle to put like a set of 10 or more in here just because of how thick they get. Um, 
but it does work i'm mostly using these now if i want to have like another layer in between my stickers and an envelope um yeah these are recycled these are also from amazon and they are really really cheap so i will i'll link that below um yeah but um these i'm, working, I'm using them for stickers but i'm also now using them for the recipe cards because they're a great size for that um yeah that's all that's all the news on like new things i'm using and getting so now i really need to start packing orders i also need to print some more cards yeah so go ahead and do that finish this video off with sharing um, the process behind this month's Patreon illustration. I really wanted to challenge myself and I have not painted a monkey really ever. I think I painted one in college and it was very small and it was not the focus of the artwork. So anyway, I'm kind of considering this my first serious monkey painting. And I was going to make it into a character, but I decided that I just wanted to do something naturalistic. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this species. It's really interesting, at least I think it is. Um, I do want to credit, I'm going to maybe not say his name right, um, Manol Pinheiro, um, who whose photo I loosely referenced for this. You guys know that it's important um, when you are doing a naturalistic illustration or any kind of illustration. If you are using photo reference, try to reference multiple photos and you know change it up because these photographers often are, you know, they're capturing something unique. It took them time um, to be able to get that photograph. So just out of respect for them, consider it another piece of art in a way, um, especially if it's something unique. Um, and yes, I did change the pose quite a bit. Um, and I added stuff around it. I added a baby. So I changed it quite a bit, but I just want to throw it out there because this is a really rare monkey and there are only like maybe seven or eight photos of this particular species. So this is a type of TT monkey, which I believe are only found in Central and South America or maybe only South America. This species was named in 2011. It is known as Plecturocebus parisis and it is near threatened and it is found on the slopes of and the top of a plateau in Brazil that is part of the Amazonian arc of deforestation. So this area is surrounded by agricultural fields um, both used for grazing cattle and soybeans. So this land has been used for both cattle and soybeans. I think it's important to note that 80% of soy is grown for feeding livestock. So that's another reason, a huge reason really, to consider a plant-based or at least vegetarian diet or start cutting meat out of your diet. So the only reason that its habitat hasn't really been destroyed is um, because it's within a national park and it's also not um, really suitable land to be used for agriculture. 
Um, but what does sometimes happen, I don't know if this is what happened with this particular species, but um, new species are often discovered amidst deforestation as, um, as we get closer and closer in and further into parts of forest that we haven't been in before, um, you know, cutting down trees and all of a sudden you notice a new bird and it's a new species. So anyway, really cool because this is such a rare, rare and new species. I thought it'd be really cool to focus on it and paint it and I have only found like maybe two paintings of this so who knows maybe I'm like the third person to paint one. But um, yeah so I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about it. Pretty cool. And um, yeah, you can read more. I've linked a little short article about it below. And if you're interested in getting a print this month from me made of recycled paper, it is the print of the month over on Patreon. And after January, if there are any left over, they will go in my shop for $20. But if you sign up on, like, on my Patreon for the print club, it's just $10, no shipping or anything. So. Anyway, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and yeah, have a great day.